All right, what's happening, guys? Um, I know the last 2.5s have been rant vids, so I was trying to get, you know, a good one where I don't just say fuck everyone and people are bastards. Even though that is my humble opinion, I find it's just a lot easier to group everyone together that way. We're all equals in that regard. Oh, well, whatever, fuck it. That's not what we're here about, because, oh my god, what a fucking battle this was. <laughs> Right, first off, I see the fighting Meloetta and I think, oh no, here we fucking go again. A guy who just doesn't know what he's doing. But I figure, okay, I'm going to go into this with a positive attitude. I'm using my try-hard team because I was so sick and tired of ranting and bitching and contradicting myself on many levels. And I thought, you know what, I just want to get a good battle for you guys to enjoy. That's all I fucking want. So I told him, okay, yeah, you're not allowed to have the fighting Meloetta, you have to use Relic Song in the battle to get it, and um, he was like, oh, okay, sorry, I'll change it afterwards, and I'm like, it's alright, no worries. Mistakes happen, we are people, we make mistakes, quite a lot of mistakes as it happens, but that's what we do. But yeah, holy shit, this battle was so fucking awesome. <laughs> and it, not because I played well. I made some huge cock-ups, whatever. I hit off with Polytoad, he does leads off with Jolteon, I'm thinking, okay, it's probably gonna be Specs or Scarf or T-Bow, I don't care, I'm a Polytoad, I don't give a shit. So I'm gonna go Toxic, purely on the basis that, depending on if he Volt switches, say, then something comes in, I Toxic it. If he stays and goes for T-Bow, I Toxic it, and it's gonna be switching in and out, over and over again. And if I get Stealth Rocks up, that's a lot of residual damage. But he goes for a workup, and the second I see that, my brain starts screaming Baton Pass in my face. And I'm like, okay, I acknowledge you, brain. It probably is a Baton Pass set. So after I Toxic him, I think, okay, I'll go for a school, get a bit of damage on there. Just, just cause, you know. And I figured Jolteon was quite frail, but it actually takes this school remarkably well, so fair dues. But he's plus two now, and I'm thinking, okay, the Baton Pass is coming, so I'm gonna Toxic on the switch. But he T-bolts and one-shots my Polito. And I'm like, ah. Well, that's awful. I lose my special wall, my rest talking special wall within, what, three turns? That's shit. But he's nearly dead. I know he's not scarfed. He's life orbed. You know, he can't outspeed my scarf Mien Shell. So, cool beanies. And holy, I love this Mien Shell now. It did so much fucking work. It's retarded. <laughs> oh, God. But either way, I've lost my special wall, but he has lost his Jolteon. And that means my gear is chill. So I'm going to go into Pharaoh because I want my, you know, I want my stealth rocks and shit, you know? I, I need to get that going because he's got a chomp and I kind of, well, I suppose the chomp isn't really going to be switching in and out a lot because it's probably going to lock itself in an outrage. But I knew two things. I kind of needed the Pharaoh and I need my Dragonite at full health if I'm going to take one outrage and then Dragonite in, oh, no, Dragon Claw in extreme speed. So that was my plan. However, in comes this Reuni Blob and... I, I thought um, he went Trick Room. I, I literally flat out outsped the Reuniclus with a Pharaoh. I was like, what? what? Jesus. But he Focus Blast after I, I... It's a good thing I went Knock Off and got rid of that Life Orb, because that would have just killed me. So that went well. It means the Reuniclus is crippled slightly. But I just go Stealth Rocks. I figured the Trick Room was coming. Um, I'm slightly worried about the Trick Room, because I sort of need it gone. Um... I mean, oh, Magnazone might be okay with the Trick Room up, but gear, it, it's going to defeat Gira, because if I DD a couple of times, it's going to be slower slower than everything. Um, Dragonite might be okay, and the shells ruined with Trick Room, so. Um, I do a bit of switching, just to make sure I um, burn a couple of turns of it, and I do a really age-old tactic, which is, because he's got Psychic and Focus Blast, Gira resists the Focus Blast, Pharaoh resists the Psychic, Gira's got enough special bulk to take the Focus Blast. So I switch to Gira, he goes Focus Blast, I switch to Pharaoh, he goes Psychic, and now because I've done that, he's going to think I'm going to switch back to Gira again to waste another turn, so he's going to go for another Psychic, and I get a nice meaty power whip off, so that's really good, some extra damage, means that Dragonite can come in for the kill. Which is, you know, lovely jubbly, really. So I go Power Whip, and it does a decent chunk, really. Um, I know I'm going to die here, but that's the game plan. And I, the Trick Room actually runs out a turn early, so it kind of, I always get a bit confused, because I know it stays for five turns, but does the turn you use it count as one of those turns? It always kind of bugged me up with that. Yeah, I go into Dragonite, and I think, okay, I'm adamant max attack. Dragon Claw should kill this thing. I mean, come on, a Power Whip from a Pharaoh did, what is that, a third? So I go Dragon Claw, and it doesn't kill. It does half. And I'm like, what the fuck, Dragonite? What in God's name is that? So 
So I'm like, great, now I have to burn my normal gem extreme speed, which I wanted to save for the chomp, but whatever. Needs must, I can't let my Dragonite's multi-scale be broken. And I'm buggered if I'm switching into Magnazone. <laughs> if Pharaoh outsped that thing, then it literally has no speed. Anyway, Dragonite's multi-scale is still intact, so that is lovely jubbly. And I'm kind of not entirely sure what it, he wants to do. I mean, as, as far as I'm concerned, at this point, Magnazone, as much as I love it, is just dead weight. He's got a Gastro, a Donphan, and a Chomp. All three rape my poor Magnazone. So, well, Donphan Zone would probably beat out if it comes in on a sob. So, but either way, I'm going to go to Gyarados here. I probably should have gone to Mianxiao, um, because the targets are kind of obvious. But I was also really fearing that Ice Beam and Gyarados has beaten out Gastro as many a time. So. I knew it could do it, it would just take a while, because Stone Edge is all I've got to hit it with. But that's not too bad. Um, I am Toxic, which is a bit annoying. I do go Taunt first turn. I'm not entirely sure why, because it's going to have, like, Scald and Earth Power, Earth Power and Ice Beam recovering Toxic. So it had, it didn't need to recover, it literally had no point using any utility. So Taunt was a bit dumb, but I, at this point I've completely forgotten that Trick Room is up. So, um, I go DD, because I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be physical. He's hacked it, so it's a physical Meloetta. And then he thunders me and just... Oh. And I was like, what? Where the fuck did that come from? So, I lose my amazing, beloved Gyarados, and I'm just, like, picking my jaw up off the floor at this point, because I... Oh. The misplay. So I go into Mianxiao, because this thing needs to go... And I didn't. I, I thought it was going to be a completely physical set, but now that it's shown Thunder, I know it's one of those like close combat relic song things. But he's just hacked it wrong. Anyway, he's going to bring in Chomp. I immediately assumed Scarf, but I wasn't because I've got Zone and Dragonite. I was thinking maybe he'd want to go Outrage because Dragonite's probably the bigger problem. So I immediately think Scarf. I go into Magnazone and he SDs, and I am just shitting bricks at this point. I'm like, oh my god. How am I going to win this? He's got a Donphan, which is going to just crap all over me and Shell. And Donphan will almost certainly have Ice Shard, which craps all over Dragonite. And his Gastro is at full health, probably has Ice Beam. And then there's this plus two Life Orb Chomp staring me in the face, which will kill Dragonite despite the multi-scale. Something is shit. Um, I need to go in Mien Shell. I need to high jump kick. And then I'm going to extreme speed with Dragonite and see how far I can get. And I go into Mian Shell and I click high jump kick and I think, fuck, I've got Hidden Power Ice! Oh my god, no! And then he switches into Gastrodon, predicting the Hidden Power Ice. And I'm like, holy shit. I was cleaning bricks out of my pants and now I am suddenly on the offensive. I have the initiative here. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? I literally, I told the guy in the chat afterwards, I literally forgot I had Hidden Power Ice. So I just clicked high jump kit and it worked out so well. Oh my god. I nearly killed the Gastro. The Gastro is in kill range for Dragonite now. And high jump kick is a free hit KO on the Donphan, but I missed my first one. I'm like, oh god, shit, no. And he sets up Stealth Rocks, which is even worse, because now Dragonite's multi-scale is broken. And then he, I go high jump kick again, I hit it. He's just getting down there, but then he roars me. And then I go into Dragonite, I think, wait. Stealth Rocks, roar, definitely rapid spin. He might not have Ice Shard. Oh, So now I'm here with Dragonite, and I'm thinking, hey, let's just go Dragon Claw, see what happens. And he doesn't Ice Shard me, which means he do he has EQ. And I'm just, like, jumping for joy at this point. Because I literally, depending on whether me and Shell feels generous and hits all of the high jump kicks, I can win. I was staring a plus two Life Orb Garchomp in the face. And the most random mistake of mistakes puts me into the point where I can win this game. And I'm like, what the fuck? What did, wow! So, I'm doing a jig right now. Just awesome. Because I told him at the end, you should have won that. There is no... That was not a good prediction. That was just really awful play on my part. I, it was fluke. Complete fluke. There was no way I should be winning this. So I high jump kick the Donphan, take it out. And he has to go into Garchomp, he can't go into Gastro. He, although his only hope would have been for me to miss on one of them. That was all he had. But I hit my high jump kick, and that's it. That's game. He outrages me. 
kills my BN shell, but I have extreme speed for, from Dragonite and Dragon Claw for the Gastro, and I was like, how in the holy mother of God did I win that? Ah, oh, it was a really awesome match, but I made some really shit plays. <laughs> oh well, good game to the guy. It, it was a good sport about it, but wow. See, I'm upbeat. I'm actually having fun. What a radical concept. Fuck bringing anything I want. I'm bringing this to you. Whatever. I'll see you guys in a bit or something. Peace.